The styles drop down um, is useful for many different things, and this would have to be pre uh, installed or set up based on your site's design. So you might have specific styles that are uh, for captions, headers, certain types of text. Depending on what the design calls for, you might see some drop down uh, options here. And if that was the case, I would just simply highlight. I would choose the drop down and it would style it the way uh, that we have it set up. Some preset styles are already built in. So if I want to take this paragraph, and usually I can click anywhere in the paragraph, um, and you'll notice that down here it tells you that there's a P tag. Uh, and this is more for advanced users that have some knowledge of HTML. It tells you what the tag is that you're actually selecting. But in this case, I'm going to just put it anywhere in the paragraph, and I'm going to choose Heading 2. So based on what's set up uh, by the design, these are always defaults, and usually most sites have set up at least Heading 1 and Heading 2. Some may have set up Heading 3, 4, 5, and 6, again, de depending on the, uh, the design and what it calls for. So. Um, these are sort of presets and you can play around with these to find out what they do and if they do anything at all. So let's take a look at this one. We're going to set it as heading 2. We're going to save it and we're going to go over to our live site. And you can see what's happened here. Uh, our bold, our underline, our strike through. Here's our uh, superscript and subscript. Here's our bullets. Okay, and there's there's the different uh, uh, levels that we that we have, and this hasn't been styled to indent them, but on your site, if that was called for, it would be styled like this. And here's our H2, or our heading two that we've chosen, and you can see it's just larger and it's got some space around it. So that's the basic um, editing for uh, text. Now let's just say I want to change color. Uh, this editor is very advanced. It has a lot of options, and I'm just going to actually clear this so we get some fresh text here. I'm going to use our paste from Word, and I'm going to go back and get some text here. I'm going to insert insert that in there. Okay, so now. Let's just say I want to change the size, I want to change the color. Um, you highlight the text that you want to change. Click on this double A. And here you've got a lot of, of, uh, of options. Now, for the most part, you don't need to change a lot of them. I can change the font if I want, say, a Georgia has a serif, uh, it has little uh, tags on it. it. It's not as clean as a non-serif, but it's good for titles. So I want to change the size. Let's make it bigger. Um, color. So let's say I want to make it blue. You've got some. You got lots of options, or some basic colors that, if you choose palette. So I want to make it a blue, and I'm going to bold it, and I'm going to make it capital. So there's lots of different options here just on this one particular uh, section. Now you can see here what it's going to do to my text. Now the reason that it's highlighting all of this is that when I have uh, a paragraph, and I'm just going to update this, and it's all joined together, it treats the whole section as one paragraph. So in order to clear this out, what I would need to do is click this little it's like an eraser, remove formatting. And see that will now clean it up for me. So uh, if you get into that situation where the whole thing gets uh, bigger or whatever you've done to the text, then separate the text, highlight the text you don't want large or changed, and click the little remove formatting. So that's, that's styles, and you can do a lot with those and play around with the styles uh, for content.